Hello everybody and welcome back to Song of the Prairie, where today we uh, we didn't make any money yesterday on anything really, but we did repair a bus stop, so that was pretty cool. So I'm going to have a look around my house this morning, because we didn't really look at it last night, I just went straight to bed. So we have a bed, wonderful, and also a dressing mirror in here, ooh, wow, ooh that's quite in depth isn't it? I like. I like a lot. Very nice. Nice next bag, waist, right hand, boots, body, mouth. Oh, so you could probably have something in your mouth. Like a piece of wheat or something like that, or a pipe, or like, I don't know, a, a bubble wand or <laughs> something. Chest, back, so maybe a cape. And capes are probably going to be a thing in this then. Um, a hand and other foot, so you can maybe have your, your different things on different feet even. Wow, I like. Very in-depth and very cool. Good morning, strange person. Brown-haired boy, well, please, please don't get too close to me. I'm a little nervous. I'm not good at this, greeting strangers or something else. But Uncle Hart wants me to come in person, so you're the long-lost... The long lost boy. That's the long lost son of, of heart. <laughs> Say it's basic courtesy. Who are you? Ah, haven't I introduced myself? Uh, uh, my name is Maud. I'm the receiver in town. The things in the box at the gate of the farm are what I collect every day. Ah, oh, you're a postie, Maud. Nice. Well, that can be regarded as partners of the farm. Okay. Um. Nice to meet you, partner. I don't want to make them feel awkward. Um, I almost forgot to tell you something important. Well, actually, because I heard you came, there are many more farm entrustments in the town. Uncle Hart should write it down in the memo. You can open it at any time. When you're free, you can also go to the task board outside the guild. Some people will release the entrustment a week in advance. So if you get all of your quests done early, you can go and get more ones early. What the client needs, you can transfer through the task board, but the client should prefer, to, prefer you to hand it over to them by yourself. So I think you might be able to get like more points um, socially maybe if you go to them. And Becky of the Gugu House recently said she needed wheat for a bird feed. If anyone brought her enough wheat, she'd thank her with an old feed machine. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I'll go back first. Okay, well I would say the first thing I want to do is maybe have a look at this letter in the mailbox. I don't want to pick up the jar, thank you. I want to have a look at my mail. Um, ah, mailbox, here we go. Okay, so we have a letter from Du. Dear Sir, I heard that you've settled down on the farm. I should have visited in person. However, I'm too busy taking the challenge of the stone sword in the farm to visit you. Thanks for understanding. Okay. We'll go and maybe have a look at that quest later. Laurie, she love, help me more often in the future. Keep it in mind. Okay. Cool. So let's go and have a look at all of this now. So... I can harvest that wheat. I probably should have done that yesterday. I need to know where to get these field guides. It's like new field guide unlocked. So yeah, now I've done all of that. All that wheat has grown. Um, I probably should water as well. So let's switch to my watering cam. It's got a certain amount of water in it. I think there's a well over there. I could probably fill it back up again. And F to water. Remember F. F. She lab. F. Nothing like forgetting basic controls when they've been told to you. You can tell I'm still a bit salty about that one. Salty with myself. Okay, so this one here will need hoeing over again. And then I need to find out a little bit more about the world and stuff and whether I can actually plant anything more than, than that amount. Oopsie. It doesn't look like that's doing too much. You can hoe quite a lot by the looks of it without doing a ton to your stamina. It looks like you can do a 3x3 three three on one carrot of stamina or vitality or whatever they want to call it. So that's quite nice. I should probably get another seed of something from uh little miss up the road but i'm also gonna maybe go down to the goo goo house 
Well, let's see if I can go if if the new um if the new Piggy Express is open. I'll put the the town. Field station. There should have been one up there, shouldn't there? So I'm not sure if that's ready yet. So I'm going to run up there, I think. Although actually, hmm. Thinking about it. Where is the Goo Goo Ranch thingy? I said something about Becky's Goo Goo Ranch. Oh, I'd probably need to go into my actual map for that. Hang on. And see what the closest... Uh, see the Town West Station? That's not... That's still broken. You can see it's broken. And these ones are just not visited, I guess. So Becky's Birdhouse is actually by Town South. So if I went to Guild Station... Then that would actually get us a bit closer. Wee! And then we'll just go south and we'll go and meet Becky and we'll see about giving her some of that wheat we just harvested because I think that would be quite a useful thing. And we can learn about those goo goo birds. Now she was down to the south, wasn't she? Yeah, so I'm going in the right direction. Wonderful. Always better to check your map rather than completely get everything wrong and end up like miles away. So this is the Goo Goo Look at them all! Oh my goodness! They're so pretty. I want to take a picture with you. There's a Goo Goo bird. You're so nice. I love you. What? There's a purple baby one! Ah! Okay, so let's go and talk to Becky. That one's the pretty one. I like that pink one. Okay. Hi, Becky. Oh, 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 hello. Goo, haven't I seen you? Are you in town, Goo? 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 You don't think the girl under me is talking, do you? <laughs> Are you talking? Let me say first, Goo is the Numenon. Numenon? Look up, Goo keeps flapping his wings and talking. Can't you see Goo? Don't let me explain this every time I know a new person, Goo. So, did the new girl I recruited before? I'm so tired, Goo. So the bird on the head is the Numenon? You're right. I am now in the form of a bird. And now I am under my former body, Goo. My name is Becky. I'm the owner of the Goo Goo House. Because of being cursed, I keep the bird's body for the time being. Goo. Goo. You should... Uh, sorry. You should be new to the farm. You can buy Goo Goo's and Goo Goo feed here. That's my job. Goo. I think your underling... Sorry. Your understanding ability is okay. Let me remind you not to contact and learn from the orchard owner. Goo. <laughs> okay. So don't go and talk to the orchard. I'm going to talk to everyone. I'm going to ignore you on that one. I want to know everyone. Um, but did, didn't you want some wheat or something? Like, how do I give that to you? The world is so big that Goo wants to see Goo. Oh, we need 20 wheat, do we? Oh, okay. Boo. So in that case, we probably need to go... And see, because I'll only be able to make nine, I'll still be able to make 18, and then... Alright, let's go back and see, um... Our wee friend... The Death Mine, Clock's Badge. Let's go to Don't Want to Open Grocery Store. And go maybe get some more wheat for that task. I take a little shortcut. <laughs> I imagine the more, more I run, the more I'm going to get better at running. So, probably have to do that a lot. Oh, I love you guys' hair. Ah, so good. Um, What do you mean? You look down on red? Please, don't let me repeat it. Just talking to you and breathing the air you have breathed is a blasphemy against fashion. Talking to someone who doesn't know fashion like you is like casting pearls before swine. 
Oh, that you got that one, all right? I think. Um, you look rural all over. If I were your guest, I would be ashamed of my choice. <laughs> Do you want to fight? Hmm. What a savage! Look at yourself. Your fashion is to dress up as a colorful beetle. Beetle? What are you talking about? Wait, someone's coming. <laughs> Great. Let him judge. <laughs> hum. Okay. We need a drink there. Nom, 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 nom. Yummy juice. Hey, you're here just in time. My name's T Tuya. I'm the tailor in town. I think red is the incomparable colour in the world. Oh, well, you're already wrong there. I believe you think so too. Don't listen to her nonsense. The essence of fashion is the collision and complement uh, complementarity of different colours. I mean, I've got like pink and purple in my hair, so I think I know who I'm going with. Caro? <laughs> My name's Caro. I am a barber in town, or ha hairstylist. I studied in the city uh, of art for a long time. Come on, I've studied in the country of art. How many times do you have to repeat this sentence? I'm just telling the truth. Does it hurt your heart? Come on, I don't care. I believe this passerby can make a correct judgement. Tell me what you think. Who looks better, me or him? <laughs> oh, I so want to choose that one. Oh. oh, shall I do it? How dare you! Don't mock me. The same to you, flower parrot. I'm still giving me a nickname. If you want to be more fashionable, I can help you change your hairstyle. I promise, I'll make you the focus of the town. If you want new clothes, my craft won't let you down. I can help you do it in one day. Hmm. <laughs> I think I maybe could have gotten... A little bit of points with them, but that reaction was so worth the extra work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> None of them had purple, so there we go. Oh, man. Okay, so I think, yeah, we need to go to... <laughs> Don't want to open grocery store. <laughs> I think it's this way. Oh... I love my life. Okay, I, I, I'm I falling more in love with this game every episode. Hello, Miss Miss. I want some more wheat, please. Choose what you want. So we can at least start with um, some wheat. We got a little discount on it, apparently. So that's for 64, but that'll, that'll get me like uh, nine of them. So that's fine. Uh, it'd be nice if I could get two and plant two of them, uh, but I need to work out how to expand my field first, so. Mm. The corresponding season. Green. It doesn't say, like, it's hard to see what season it is. Spring, spring, season, oh, maybe that's all season? That might be all season. Oh yeah, it, oh, it's, it's sorted by season, so that's fine. That's fine, so it's definitely all right to buy it. Enter to purchase. Purchase. Okay. Lovely. So we got ourselves some more wheat seeds to uh, get on the on the thing. So that this is the death mine. So I can I can ask you to go and do stuff in there, can I, clock? Hi. So I can delegate. There we go. So a hundred um radishes and 500 and it'll go into the gold rush town and get me a whole bunch of ores good to know I didn't really want to be that close to you I'm guessing that's going to take a day or two to just finish off love this game we have to work out the fishing today I reckon I'm just going to head back to the farm. Oh, hello. You're the little birdie that we were supposed to be finding yesterday.
There's okay, okay. Um, when the corresponding animal enclosure in the farm has enough space, you can pick it up into the circle and let it join your enclosure. If the corresponding enclosure on the farm has no free space, the animal can be temporarily placed on the farm and it will linger within range of the farm. When the number of small animals staying on the farm exceeds 10, some small animals will, I guess, leave. I'm going to adopt a tiny goo goo. Are they found around the place? I'm guessing this is their their house. I'll have to help them with that at some point. But yeah, I'm gonna get this Gugu to like live around here. You can live on my farm and be my friend. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is plant the wheat, and then we'll go and have a look at some stuff to do. there okay I must need to have nine of them on me to be able to throw them like that wheat is worth 200 each wood is worth iron that piece of iron wood's worth a thousand Wow that's cool. That's 200 per wheat, so I don't mind that if it's 64 to plant it and then 200 got, got, that you get back from it. And I don't mind that at all. Maybe I should chop down some more trees. <laughs> See if I get more iron wood. That was good. Yeah, I'm going to have to run back up there. That's just um, another thing I didn't know about the game. I wasn't paying attention when I uh, planted the radishes. Didn't realise I had nine of them on my hotbar at the time. So we shall know that from now on. So just quickly run back up here and buy another eight of them. <laughs> no, don't be lazy. Oh, no. Get up. <laughs> Squeak, lorry. Okay, so... Uh, Grocery store, and I want to buy eight more. Be nice to, to you know do some other things as well. But I think what I'd like to do the most is to have a start on some of these quests. Because I think that's going to be the most interesting thing to do. We could also do a bit of fishing. That's another thing we could do. I'm glad I found the bird after all that though. Because I couldn't find him in the dark yesterday. Hey, where are you going? Goo goo. I want to feed you and, and, and make you all big. Awesome. What's up there? I can see something glowing, like shining. Oh, don't put a glowy thing up there and then not. Uh, oh, I can jump. What? Sword in the stone. Hey, simple sickle. Okay, well, that was one of the quests, I think. The little things on my map. Hello? Hello, ninja. Failed ninja. Strange man. Alas, unexpectedly you pulled out this sickle. You must have heard the legend of the uh, of sword in the stone. Didn't you just say sickle? Yes, this is the legendary sword in the stone. It is said that only the person selected by the goddess can become his master. It must be you. It's a wooden sickle. <laughs> my name is Du. I'm 99th generation of brave people in the brave village. In order to save my companions, I'm, pl I'm playing the orchard owner here. Meeting his fate. May I ask your name? My name is... Oh, so you're Shelab. It's a really great name. 
I've been waiting for that special opportunity every day since I accidentally found this sword in the stone. I didn't expect that I just left a little and you got ahead of me. <sighs> it should have been a joy to see the legendary weapon. It's also a pleasure to get to know you, Shelab. Two happy things intertwined should have produced more and more joy. But why am I very depressed now? Because it's over. Like, the thing has been done. It has been achieved. And then you always get that down afterwards. Shelab, sir, I have a small request. Please test the power of this sword in the stone for me. In this way, I can leave no regrets. Okay. I'm sure we can do that for you, do. Uh, when equipped with a sickle, press F to destroy nearby weed. Sickles can be used to harvest mature farm crops. Cool. There's a load of weeds up here, so let's, uh, let's have a look. And leaves and all sorts of things that I can sell. Flowers, leaves. I'm getting seeds for this. Oh, yes, because they're expensive. This is why we do quests. We learn things. A wild daisy. I could pick up some wild flowers, maybe sell those as well, actually. Seems a shame to sickle them away. I did get petals from using the sickle on the on the flower zone. That might be something in a recipe later, net. You never know. I look like I picked up some kind of bottle there. I'll have to have a little look through my inventory. Okay, so once I've done that, um, actually, before I even finish doing that, I think I need to head back here and finish my planting because I'm being a little bit lax with it. So am I now allowed to throw them? Oh, yes. So that's a really nice feature. Certain other games I've played, if you accidentally plant one, it won't let you plant the other eight and you've got to do them individually. So the fact that it'll let you still do that, I think is lovely. I think it's a really, really nice touch to the game. So water. Oh, I'm getting a little bit dizzy here. So do I need to maybe go and find a chair or something in my house and do a little bit of sit down? Will I restore some vitality? Because I'd be happy to just go around. Um, oh, yeah, 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 it does, actually. I'd be happy to go around sort of just exploring and talking to people and stuff, but if I could just get maybe another carrot's worth, I could probably water the rest of my crops and then have a little run around. I think probably if I find the hot springs and get all of the bus stops opened up, I can maybe go over there and re regain some vitality as well. I'll probably be very interchangeable between the words of vitality and stamina, to be honest, though. I do like that you can just have a sit down. That's quite nice. I wonder if, I wonder if there's cooking in this. Because so far I've seen growing of the crops and things like that, but I haven't seen much in the way of cooking. There are restaurants and things though, so. Goo goo enclosure. A special enclosure for raising goo goos. The first a level can accommodate four goo goos, the second can accommodate nine. Right, so where's my goo goo that I found earlier on? Because they should be able to go in there. I think I'd pick you up and put you in. Then I'd probably have to feed you, right? Okay, so go to Golden Pasture or Goo Goo Birdhouse to buy small animals. You need to have a corresponding animal enclosure to buy animals. All types of animal enclosures can be built by Architect Poa. Don't forget to prepare enough materials and gold coins when buying. After a successful purchase from Poa, you can obtain the corresponding animal card. Put down your animal card in the open sorry, in the open field of the farm. Take out the animal card and press F to see the generated shape. Green represents that it can be placed and red represents that it cannot be placed. Press this button again to generate a new animal enclosure. When there are obstacles in the local area, it will probably not be able to be placed. Okay, 
I take it you live there now. Um, okay, so how to customize the animal. Press left click to interact with the wooden board in front of the animal enclosure and click edit animal enclosure to en enter editing mode. In editing mode, press on any green framed uh, land piece to pick it up and move it. On the premise of ensuring that the land pieces are connected, press R to put down the picked up pieces of land without obstacles on the ground. Uh, after the land pieces with the door is put down, press R to adjust the direction and there should be no obstacles in the direction of the door. Okay, leave the blue area or press uh, right click to exit editing. Okay. I don't really think I want to right now, but... Uh... Take it into action. So make custom adjustments to the layout of the animal enclosure. Move the animal enclosure to another location on the farm or manage the animals. That's awesome. Wow. Okay. I like. Maud is here picking up stuff. Not that I've put anything in there really to make any money with. Um, can I? Oh yeah, fetch water from the well. So that should hopefully fill up my watering can. Beautiful. One of those looks a different colour. I hope it's not like dying or anything. So, like, if I use my hoe on just any area of land, will that make it? Oh, it will indeed. Right, okay. Good to know. I don't really know if I wanted it there. If I hoe it again, will it go away? No. So it'll probably be something like a hammer or something. But I could put another like row of three there. I could plant my onion seed wherever it's gone. I got three of them actually. Oh, that's wonderfully awesome. Let's put them in my hot bar. can and now we've got some onions growing now as well fantastic right I'm a little bit out of uh, stamina there at the moment I think we can definitely sleep the night oh, let me in my house weird okay so uh yeah i'm gonna go to bed although i've pretty much done everything i want to do and my stamina is getting a bit low so another fun day is over time for bed so i could just sit on the chair i don't want to put you guys through that though <laughs> we'll do some more exploring in the morning right so now i've done that that the store sword in the stone thingy thingy my bobby what's it when it rains, the clods of soil on the farm will gradually become soggy and there'll be no need to water them for the rest of the day. Yay! I'd be very disappointed if that wasn't the case. Hi! Hey, Wallace. Good morning. I found a letter at the door of your house and picked it up for you without authorization. Oh, no! No signature. Who wrote it? Open it. Come and see me in the back mountain. I'm ready for our fateful appointment. From clock, maybe. I don't know. Pack Mountain. Hmm. You know this man? He's an old acquaintance, also a troublemaker. Uh, sorry, alas, a troublemaker. I don't want to gossip behind people's backs. What's more, I don't want my personal feelings to affect your understanding of someone. You'd better get to know him yourself. This letter was written by Lind, a fisherman in the town who opened a mermaid home by Hushan Lake. If you're interested in fishing, you can ask him for advice. At least in this case, he's reliable. Moreover, based on my understanding of him, he should have prepared a small gift for the newcomer. Okay. That sounds good. Someone give me a tomato or something in, in the mail. No, I didn't pick up the jars. Oh, man. Oh, and I broke it. That's annoying. Alright, so. Mailbox. That was going to happen. 
Unexpectedly, you pulled out the sword and the stone. It seems you've got the ability to become my partner. These apples, oh, it's apples, are the proof I admire your ability. But I won't lose again, for I am a brave man. Okay, I'm going to keep those for now until I've done a bit more talking to people. I don't want to get rid of things like that because I might be able to plant them or something. All right, so lovely. We're having a nice day. Um, I, I get the impression, though, that I might need to go and see Becky and get some bird feed for my little dude. But I want to speak to this person first because I've been, like, desperately wanting to see what, what's up with them for a while. So, Hello. I've tried all kinds of methods. It seems the house can't be repaired. Unfortunately, this house is one of the most advanced buildings in this town. There's a suspicious man on the farm. I'm not a suspicious person. I'm Amanda, who does good deeds everywhere to help people repair their houses. I usually go to repair the broken house and give it to people for free after repair, mainly to help some poor people. Unfortunately, the house is so damaged it can't be repaired. The fancy house can only be demolished, otherwise it can be taken to many people. I think you're a new person who moved to a small house over there. Let me remind you that your house can be upgraded. I like a good upgrade on my house. Oh, upgrade. If you hand in the materials at the brand, uh, the sign, I guess, someone will help you upgrade your house. The structure of your house will not break, so you can upgrade boldly. Well, since the house can't be repaired, I should leave and look for the next house. Bye. Wait, what if you try to repair it? Hmm, okay, let's have a little look at my... Pig, sleepy pig enclosure. 45 wood, 45 stone, okay. House can't be. So do I need to demolish it then, maybe? To make some room for my farm up here? Could be a thing, right? Pick up the small rock. This fencing, can I maybe chop that up? Let's go and have a look at my journal. Oh, I need to go and submit that to Laurie. Okay. The pig station, I think, has been done. Um, harvest 30 crops, make 50 shipments. I haven't done any of that. Pauline wants 20 logs. To purchase black bean fish and copper ore. So that's to poor. So I need to go and see these people and make money off them. Wheat for feed. Yeah, so it does look like it looks like that can only be demolished then. A windmill or something. I'd love to get that up and running again. Pick up some rocks and twigs and stuff. Looks like someone's been chopping trees behind my house, look. But yeah, I think it'd be fun to restore that pig pen, honestly. It looks like I leveled up and gather. Wonderful. Extra stamina, always good. I feel like I'm doing a bit of tidying up, you see, around here. So I think I need to get my hammer out. my hammer on there no it def i reckon there's going to be more quest line behind that thing definitely 100 percent. probably need to chop down a tree or two as well i think but like i say i, I like tidying up so we'll tidy up so 
look at the map and see if there's any other little bits and pieces. So to fix the sleeping pigsty, so that is probably one of my next quests. To move things, clocks, badge, childhood friend, and my brother's favourite dish. And then obviously handing in a few quests so that I can get a bit of money together. I do have enough money for this at the moment. Um, so I also want to just uh, have a quick look in my inventory and do a bit of rearranging of it quickly. So I don't really need petals. What is that? Nectar. High value and can restore physical strength after eating and taste sweet. Oh, wonderful. I must have got that out of the flowers. My apples, my wood, iron wood. That copper is for handing in and leaves. I've got loads and loads of leaves. Useless leaves. <laughs> okay. So I don't have any... Oh, I've got five pieces of wood right now. So I need to get another... Uh, 25 or so. Why don't we hop up here? So yeah, I am still using my hammer there. So that's interesting. You do really need to use the tool switcher. I just wanted to try that out. I wanted to see whether the game was clever enough to know what you were knocking down. But I'm kind of guessing that I could probably use the land up here once I've cleared the trees out and stuff um, to make new farmland and things. I think that would be quite useful to be, fun to be fair. So I'm going to try and pick up these twigs and things just so that I've got some clear space. I don't know how far outside of my house I'm allowed to do things, so. Why don't we try, actually? So I'm actually going to get my simple hoe. I'm going to see if I'm allowed to hoe in this space. I am indeed. So we could put some fields up here. We could put new buildings up here. So it seems like it's actually quite flexible with where you're allowed to put things, which is really nice. I like that a lot. I'm going to leave that there. A little spare field for me later on. Um, so I can definitely start really... Now I know how to expand the field properly. And where I can expand the field to. Um, I can really start growing a lot of different crops. Which is very nice. I need to actually put the rocks on my hotbar so I can see how many... I, I need 45 of each, I'm pretty sure. If I remember rightly. I'm actually not that far off. I'm here. Hmm. Yeah, so that whole area around behind. Beehives can sometimes be seen on trees and can be dropped by throwing rocks or shaking the tree. You can throw rocks. Oh, cool. There'll be bees hovering near the fallen hive. Please keep your distance. If you're stung by a bee, you'll lose a certain amount of health points, but as long as you keep a certain distance, the bee will stop attacking you. Wait until the bees leave before picking the hive off the ground. Mm -hmm. G to throw. Okay, cool. Oh, look, the bees are after me. Okay, I think they went away. Where did their hive go, then? I feel cheated. A land love tree. Oh, so there's different kinds of trees. Probably you would need a special, special axe to pick that one up. I thought I knocked the hive down. The bees all went away. But I'm not seeing the honey or anything. They 
picking up stones and things around the tree. Um, I'll go and look at the tree again from a distance. Looking around to see if I can find it. Oh well, I guess uh, no beehives for me then. Maybe it's something to do with wet weather. Maybe it'll show up later. No point in carrying on looking for it now though. Yeah, so this land is all just the land like behind my farm. So I imagine that's going to mostly become my farm. Um, possibly if I clear the rock pile and stuff down here in the trees, then I may be able to make that my farm as well. So I think this whole area up until here can become the farm. Farm ruins south as well. So you've got some ruins of a farm. That's really interesting. So you definitely get the farm expanded out probably all the way around there, definitely. And maybe even take some room up down here as well. And then obviously this is all the, the down and everything. That's really cool. I like. It means I can build up here and do cool things. Um, so we just need a few more rocks now. So if I can't find enough up here, I'll pick up all the rocks I've got up here just to, again, tidy up this area for future building purposes. This game more and more the more I'm playing it the more I'm loving it so into it so I probably am gonna need to pick up all the stones around here and I probably am gonna need to cut down all the trees around here and pick up all the sticks Um, I might even want to plant more trees up here in in uh, the shape of an orchard possibly but there's more people I need to speak to to find out all of the, the game mechanics still trying to to pick up these sticks around the tree but it's not really working i'll probably have to that tree will probably end up not being able to be cut down for a little while anyway uh, yep with that with it okay lovely let's get this pigsty up and running Let's see if I'm allowed to put pigs in it. Even if I'm not, it's good to have it as a starter anyway. Got a goo goo one and a... Yeah. Oh, I got three of those boys. There's triplets. <laughs> right, so my next little job that I want to do... I'm just going to go up to the bus stop. And we're going to go and see Becky and buy some goo goo feed. Because I feel terrible about this little goo goo who's just sat there being all like cute in fact can i can i harvest these so maybe i can't go in this bit then or maybe i cannot harvest anything i've planted myself try a scythe so sickle even sorry It doesn't seem like it. Okay. Right, so I'm going to go see Becky first. Then I can start moving my way outwards from the farm doing quests. I think that's my, my kind of semi-plan. Oh, hang on. I went straight past the pig. Stopped, didn't I? Where's the farm pig stop? I know it's around here somewhere. It's like almost as far back. Well, no, it's not quite as far back as I'd already run. I think I think I did save time going back. Ah, uh, silly me. Right, so Piggy Express. We need to go. So Town West Station is now available, and the Guild Station is also available. I want to get as many of these stations up and running as I can. The ones that aren't broken, I think I can. Yeah, so town south, like, to get goo goo feed and stuff would be really useful to do. Um, I'll go and feed the goo goo and then I may work on that. Um, it looks like that's the only other one that is broken. Which sucks, but never mind. <laughs> I 
I'm going south. I need, I need to go south. South. South is this way. Thank you, Mr. Pig. So we can have some of these piggies, possibly. We might be able to buy some of them from Golden Ranch. Maybe that would be a thing to chat about. Sweet Becky, hello. Birdhouse store. Right, so a pink goo goo. Pink one costs more. But what we need is some feeding. And I can also sell feed to Becky. Lovely, return. Let's have a little look at, like, uh, a little chat to you, I think. Um, learn about animals like pigs, because we just fixed that pigsty. Although I might need a little bit more money. All right, little number 13, it's your turn next. Listen to this happy yelling. It seems you can't wait to hear my sound. Then I just... Wait, I smell something special. There can be no mistake, the smell must be... Damn right, this is the smell of distinguished guests. Oh, my nose never makes mistakes. Guess you have an extraordinary aura. No wonder my number one cow produced a bottle of strawberry milk this morning. <gasps> Cows that do strawberry milk just like pumpkin days. This must be inspired by God to welcome you, my guest. Guest, this is a very rare strawberry. In fact, it's Harvest Moon as well, does it? Uh, this is a very rare strawberry milk, but in order to celebrate our meeting, I'm willing to give up my love. What do you think of this? As long as 500 gold, I will transfer it to you. I didn't introduce myself. Oh, the new farm man mentioned by heart. He specially asked me to take good care of you. Uh, just one gold? Oh, my guest. A mere gold can defeat a hero, of course. This is a huge concession. Um... No oh, thanks. What a pity, guest. If you change your mind, you can come back to me at the ranch. Guest, meeting is fate. Let's take this opportunity to deepen our understanding of each other. My name is Rode. I'm an honest businessman. No, you're not. You try to, like, cheat me out of money for milk. Uh, in addition to operating this golden ranch at ordinary times, I will sell some special products at the weekend market. If you're interested, you can come and have a look on Saturday and Sunday afternoon. I'm willing to give a special price to a special person. Okay. We've met quite a lot of people now. Should we have a look at who the people we've met are? Alright, so. Oh, B for bag. Interesting. I just pressed B and it just opened up. It's like, okay. Oh, I think this will be the last episode I do for today because I'm back snipping me. Alright, so. Uh, do we have a quick look see at the relationships? So we've met Wallace, Hart, Becky, and Laurie. Do more than carry. Road, Tuya, and Abby. We haven't met the doctor. The architect, the priest, the rich man, the fisherman, the restaurant owner, the nurse, the bookstore owner, the blacksmith, the guard, <laughs> the furniture owner, the birdhouse staff, the ranch staff. Okay. So there's quite a few that we haven't done, but 11 out of 24. So we're almost halfway there now on meeting all of the townsfolk, which isn't too bad for two hours in, I don't think. Um, so I can have a chat. I love how they have like a bubble on them. So they're, they're bubble cows. A mutan sheep. And pet the cow. Big customer, would you like to bring a cute animal home? Well, let's have a little look, yeah. Um, so 6,000 and the bubble cows are like 20,000, sleepy pig, blue sleepy pig, but I love that you can just buy really nice, cute animals from here, straight off. Speed, endurance, ability, it's, it's, can I ride all of the animals? Because that would be amazing if I could. Teeny, tiny little ruby, is it a ruby cow? Oh, it's a red bubble cow, sorry. I, I can't read, apparently. And a yellow sleepy pig. So I can't afford any pigs or anything like that at the moment. I will go and have a look at uh, 
Uh, quests, though. Tasks. Three cabbage. Can't submit that yet. But it would be quite useful to grow the cabbage. Now I have, like, new uh, farming spots. So I should do that. Now, also, I wanted to have a quick look at the... Um, just, before, just before we finish. At the stop. The town south stop. Because that's actually closer to these than the guild station stop. The guild station stop actually isn't too far off. But it looks like there's a broken stop down here. Yeah, just down behind the ranch, look. Oh no, hang on. Hang on, you're not a... You're like a freight... What? After its FP reaches the full level. But I can't because like I can't even pet that pig at the moment. It's just taunting me. Wow. But this is the broken stop by the looks of it. And here's a folk house. And the path just ends there. Well, that's interesting. And I wonder if there's plans to extend that or anything. Rhodes house. Okay. So we're now finding out who lives at places... Oh, I think we do anyway. I think we know when we hover over them. But that's fine. Let's have a look at how much it's going to take to um, undamage this because that would be a really handy stop to come down here. So 50 and 50 again. So And a thousand gold. Now my gold is getting a little bit low at the moment. How much do I have? Twelve hundred and seventy-four. Okay, so I could do it, but then I'm gonna have to really work. Like next episode, we're gonna really have to work on gold. But I think this would be really handy to have. So let's oh, not, like stop being silly and actually. And this will be a good way to find out whether I'm allowed to actually just log anywhere I want. Also, the land of tree. Oh, I can chop them. They take a bit more chopping, though, by the looks of it. They might not give me the right kind of wood as well. Blue wood. And just normal wood as well. I'll take out the stump just to make it look prettier. Now, we're doing a lot of logging. I am hoping that I'm not taking away trees that I shouldn't be taking away. Oh, that little that little halfway through the, the logging session thing. So I'm just gonna like chop some out of your back garden road, you know, just because I can. I don't know if I'll be able to do enough rocks and things as well. With the stamina I've got, we'll have to see. Good to get some iron wood. Iron wood is, is worth a lot, so. so. We're at 31. One or two more trees. I do need to try and work on getting a new uh, axe as well. Obviously, you can't do everything at once, so, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day and all that. So one more tree, I think we'll have enough wood, and then we've got to work on stone. Right, so around here, do we have any stones? Any any nice rocks I can bash? I'll look at my map and see if I see any. Sometimes you can see the stones on there. There's a whole load of stone over there. Looks like there's some back up here around the warrior's orchard. Can buy juice and saplings here. Oh, good, good. I can start to replace some of the wood I'm logging from everywhere. I make my own orchards and things. That's very good. 
Nice steal in this one. Yep. <laughs> I love a game where you can steal stuff. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I think this is like from Garden Paws when when I, I learned in Garden Paws that I could steal all the eggs. Got very excited about that. Bit of a kleptomaniac thing going on. Okay, so now I can give these cabbages that Rode grew in his own garden back to Rode. The little animals are growing well at present. There'll be another big harvest soon. What of those cabbages that I just uh, stole from you? <laughs> So plus 20 plant, does that just mean, is that planting skill? It must be, I'm guessing. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go and see if we can find these rocks now that I've been looking for. It should be right here. Please don't tell me it's like a stone wall. The warrior's orchard. Not seeing no stones here, which is terrible. I might have to go all the way back. This is really bad, but never mind. I will work on collecting, as I say, there's, it looks like there's only two broken bus stops. So I'll just work on collecting some stone for them next time. I'll work on exactly how I meant to catch these fireflies as well, because that could be quite cool. Although most of the town is pretty well lit, so I don't mind too much. Oh, I'm right by the guild station, so I should just use that, shouldn't I? A little pig, take me home. It's really late. I don't know if I get knocked out in this game. Might be worth uh, trying to, to find that out, though, actually. But yeah, I want to go up to the restaurant and the hospital and all, all up around the north of town and get all of the nice, uh, all of the nice piggy stops as well around there. So let's go back to Farm Station. And I'm going to head to bed and say goodnight to you all, so... So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you would like to see a more uh, Song of the Fairy, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.